Live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering Accelerate 19. Brought to you by Fortinet. Welcome back to theCUBE. We are live at Fortinet Accelerate 2019 in noisy Orlando, Florida. I'm Lisa Martin, welcoming two guests to the program. One you know and love well, John Madison, the Executive Vice President of Products and Solutions at Fortinet. And John and I are pleased to also welcome Peter Doggart, the Vice President of Business Development from Symantec. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome. Thank you, Lisa. Good to be here. So guys, partnerships, symbiotic partnerships. We've been talking about partnerships all day. Now we want to talk about what's new with Fortinet and Symantec. You guys just announced a couple months ago an expansive partnership. Peter, let's go ahead and start with you. You guys are saying we're going to partner to deliver the most robust and comprehensive cloud security service. Why did Symantec decide to partner and collaborate with Fortinet and why now? Absolutely, so when we think about what our customers are going through, they're going through a digital transformation, typically to the cloud, and we wanted to make sure that we put forward the best possible technology for our customers. We chose Fortinet, we were a great partners actually before this whole thing started. We looked at the technology that they had to offer, we paired it with what we had in our web security service, it was a fantastic fit. And uh, so far, with the show today and Accelerate, we made the right choice. That's always good, right? To get it's some good, validation there. Talk exactly. to us about the, from a, from maybe from a customer's perspective, what were some of the drivers saying, hey guys, this partnership can be really beneficial for your joint par customers, partners, and each company? Yeah, John, well, we'll I think it's you. a very expansive relationship. Uh, Peter just talked about having our next-gen firewall inside their cloud, providing security there. There's also opportunity at the endpoint. For example, Symantec is the largest endpoint, 175 million or something That's endpoints right. out there. We're the largest network security vendor in terms of implementation, some four million firewalls out there. And what customers are saying is they want their security solutions to work together. They want the endpoint to see the network. They want the network to see the endpoint. They want to exchange information. So one of the other integration points is between the endpoint and our next generation firewalls. Uh, providing policy exchange, providing the ability to exchange threat information. So if I'm a large customer and I've got a very uh, all-encompassing uh, degree of implementation of semantic endpoints, CEP I think it's called, uh, and they've got Fortinet, they can simply connect those two together and provide a very comprehensive solution. And so we're getting some great feedback from our customers around that. Talk to me a little bit more about that. Are you seeing this Adoption, and I know both Symantec and Fortinet have customers in every industry of many sizes, but in terms of some of the successes that you're seeing, I know this is still really early on, what are some of those that really excite you that like, Peter, you said, we've made the right choice? Yeah, I'll, I'll just follow on from a comment uh, you made. Whether you're a medium-sized customer, the largest financial customer, Security is a very tough thing to solve. And what you don't want to do is add complexity to that problem. You also want to make sure you don't add cost as well. So the really cool thing we're doing here is through the collaboration, through the integrations that John spoke about between the endpoint, network, and the secure SD-WAN and the fabric, we're actually solving those problems in very intuitive ways. It's seamless for the customer. It just plugs together. And that's what it should be like. We don't want to add any complexity here. And that's, uh, you know, the, that's why we're doing this, right? Yeah, and I think, I think for customers, every time they need to add a security solution, it makes them more complex. It's more cost, it's more operational overhead. So if they've got existing vendors like Symantec at the endpoint, or for cloud security, and they've got Fortinet in there for SD-WAN or next-gen firewall, if we can simply switch on the connectivity policy exchange, threat intelligence exchange between those two things, it's great for the customer, because they instantly get a better solution, it's more secure, it's more cost effective. Of course, customers, you mentioned, you guys both mentioned a couple of words that every customer wants. Seamless, we want it to click in, kind of plug and play. Right. Obviously, it's, it's, a, it's a, a, a ostensible 
uh, undertaking to integrate your solutions. Talk to us since this was just announced a few months ago. Where are you in terms of integrating the technologies? I think we saw the uh, next gen firewall integrated into um, Symantec's web security service and Symantec's endpoint solutions integrated into the security fabric. Where are you guys on the phases of those integrations? Well, I'll let Peter talk about the WSS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think one big element of this, as I just mentioned, was um, a web security service. We have data centers around the planet, and what we're doing is we're taking the virtual Fortinet solutions and we're installing them now in all of our data pods. And we're, in the, we're starting the rollout phase this summer, and we'll be probably pretty much done with it as we get into the fall season around the planet. And we'll be switching that, that, that on. And the really cool bit about this is it's going to be one single interface. The customer just simply switches on firewalling, IPS, next gen firewall. It's completely seamless. From a management perspective. Management policy. Yes, absolutely. I'm looking through one crystal ball. One cloud, security SaaS service, done. Yes, and the endpoint's more on us to develop, so we have to develop this connector of our next gen firewall into the endpoints, and we're looking probably to well, the end of this quarter, early Q3 to do that, uh, and we'll start rolling that out across our different operating systems. So talk to me about part about the channel. So I know Fortinet is very much dedicated to the channel we've had. We've, a number of your partners on. I know we've got John Booth coming up next and we've spoken with him for the several years. Saw a lot of statistics, a lot of revenue growth, product growth of Fortinet driven by the channel. One of the main kind of pillars that was discussed in the keynotes this morning was education. Talked about technology, talked about ecosystem, collaboration, education. How are you guys working together to educate your joint partners to understand the, the impact potential that Fortinet and Symantec customers are about to have. Yeah, from a training perspective, obviously we have our own individual training programs. And as I was saying earlier, I think one thing that's very important to customers is more of an architectural approach. I want to look at an architecture over four or five years, and I want to make sure all these pieces are integrated inside there. So one of the things we do initially for something like this for our partners is produce what we saw a fast track. A fast track is a small module of training that's focused on hands-on training of both components to make sure that all our partners understand how to integrate, how to make that work as soon as possible, and then we follow, follow that up with some more detailed training on, on both solutions. Excellent, and, and from a, a rollout perspective, is this something that's going to be going global by the it's end of this global, year? It's going to go fast, it's going to start next week. <laughs> so, and the nice thing is, when we map out our channel partners, because Symantec is a channel, very channel friendly company as well, we've got a, some great overlap, but there's also a ton of white space there for our partners too. So I think it's going to really help uh, both obviously our, our fields but also our channel partners engage, grow broader and grow deeper into opportunities. And we know that, that security is a pan-industry challenge that as every organization now lives in, that's successful, lives in this hybrid multi-cloud world. Right. Millions of connected devices. Every industry has to react, otherwise, every business in every industry, otherwise they face going out of business. I noticed that though, that there were a couple of tracks here, uh, John, some sessions focused on a couple of verticals, uh, healthcare, financial services, uh, retail, for example. Are you expecting to see any leading edge industries, joint customers that really are ripe for this integrated solution? Maybe, but I also think that Smack has got a huge footprint across all the verticals, across all the segments, the same as us. And so I, I think initially you'll see some of the larger companies who have these huge footprints of endpoints and network security, implement these connectors, implement the cloud security, and as, the, as you see that, they'll roll down into the other segments as well. So what, at the event today in the last couple of days, what has some of the feedback been from partners, but from also end user customers, since there's about, thir about 4,000 people here today. John, what are some of the things that you're hearing? Well, we've been talking to some of our customers before here, obviously, and overwhelmingly positive feedback. 
uh, from the large customers. I spoke to some partners to here today as well. They really like the ability to bring together an endpoint, leading edge endpoint solution and network solution with cloud attached to it as well. And so it's not often actually I've done a partner announcement and I've seen so much excitement, not only with some of our, some of the customers, all the customers and all the partners, but also both organizations. Uh, we announced it to our sales organizations, we're doing that with Symantec, I think, later on That's right. this week, and I see a lot of excitement. And so I think it, that bodes well going forward. And I imagine, Peter, you're hearing similar feedback from Symantec's install base. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been tremendous. The show for me has cemented the fact this is going to be a very special partnership. The feedback I've been hearing from potential customers, our own customers coming to us who say, hey, I've got these, these solutions. It's fantastic you're doing this now. To our partners saying, you know, we've, this, is, this is truly amazing what you're doing. And it's, it is very rare you find these two companies that can come together in a meaningful way yeah. that can actually really impact what we're all trying to do here is fight the adversary. Yeah, I mean, you look at the t both companies, they're all big companies, cybersecurity companies. I think Symantec's probably enterprise in the top two, top one, we're in the top five. <laughs> These are huge companies. And our footprints from a product perspective, there's a bit of overlap here and there, but not really. Which makes us exciting, I think, for our partners and for, and for both companies. And I think, yes, we, you know, I see these relationships where it's a logo exchange. Oh, we'll do a bit of this integration on this API here. This is a truly very integrated solution for both our channel partners and our customers. And let's talk about competition. That came up a lot during the general session this morning where just a few times, <laughs> a few people mentioned it, yeah. you know, in passing on giant slides with arrows pointing, no, I'm kidding. But really what, what was very clear, I think, from not only the general session this morning, but also a thematic that we've heard on theCUBE today is the industry leadership, the product leadership that Fortinet is demonstrating, but also, you know, Palo Alto Networks, Cisco, some of your other competitors where these are really proudly showing this is where we are in relation to them, even so far as the number of Gartner Insight, Gartner Peer Insight reviews that Fortinet has gotten versus your competitors. So let's start with you, Peter. Talk to us about the competitive advantage that Symantec sees this partnership being able to generate. So you know, the, the, way, the way we look at it is we're going to come to market now we're both, we, we both love technology. I think we can agree that. <laughs> we're both very much um, technology forward, uh, very research forward. We're bringing those pieces together. When you do that, you're going to win. And if you do that in a way that is highly integrated, you're going to beat the competition because you're going to have a clear advantage. We're going to detect stuff faster. We're going to respond to stuff faster. It's, it's just going to show very, very well. And uh, I'm not going to point to a particular <laughs> Competitor. <laughs> Don't mention the names. <laughs> we, we, we're obviously um, a very large player in the industry, but um, we, we, we like this a lot. Again, we think this is going to make a very big impact. So uh, let's see where it goes. And John, any predictions on what those graphs might look like at Accelerate 2020? 2020, that's a long time away from now. But I, you know, we, we continue to grow as a company, we take market share. We're aligning with some of the big players such as Symantec in the, in the marketplace. So those graphs definitely up until the right. Is that, is that the right direction? That's yeah, the right direction. Right. And last question is, we talked a lot about data sharing on a number of our segments today. Oh. Is Symantec and Fortinet sharing threat intelligence? And if so, why is that a good thing? Why is that important? So yeah, we're, we're actually both founders of the Cyber Threat Alliance, the CTA. Well, we, should, we already share. We, we, we did that, what, two, two years, years ago, ago at yeah. least? And now we're expanding that, as John was saying, with real time, on the ground, threat intelligence sharing between our products, between our fabrics. Yeah. That will happen just automatically. Yeah, it's, um, it's important that you get the global sharing through the that's right. CTA, but also going forward because of targeted attacks, you have the local sharing. So we'll have global sharing with big amounts of threat intelligence and data, but at the local level between the endpoints and the network security, we'll have threat sharing there as well. But it's, it's important you do that fast. Security changes by the second. If you don't react to something quickly, if you don't share that intelligence that's actionable and relevant, you may as well just give up. You've got to be fast and responsive. Yep. 
And last thing, I, last question is, you mentioned the word react, and we talked about that a lot today as well, is how, and, and I'll ask you both this, Peter, we'll start with you, how is this partnership going to enable your joint customers to eventually go from being reactive to proactive to predictive? Yeah, for sure. Well, I think some of these integrations we're working on, it's all about being proactive. So as an example, if we see something in our network that we've seen in a corner case, we can automatically give it over to Fortinet. They'll be inoculated everywhere around the planet in every single device, and vice versa. If Fortinet sees something in their network that we've never seen before, we can inoculate all of our endpoints, all of our customers. That's been truly proactive. That's how you get ahead. Yeah, the so it, it's all about sharing that threat intelligence as fast as possible across as much of the attack surface as possible, and that's what the relationship is about. Well guys, thanks so much for stopping by theCUBE and sharing with us a little bit more about the partnership with Symantec and Fortinet. We look forward to hearing what comes in this year ahead, and we'll talk to you next year. Thank, thank you. you, look forward to it. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin, live from Fortinet Accelerate 2019. Thanks for watching.